Hello art friends, it's Carolyn working in my art journal. Today I'm working on a gessoed page and drawing some in inspiration from a Dave Matthews Band song called The Dreamy Tree. I think inspiration from songs is a great way to create a journal page. I wanted a grungy background so I'm using my 5x7 gel plate with a little bit of gray and a peachy color as well as my brayer to spread that paint out for just a nice moody grungy background. I'm using some gel prints that I made and just free form cutting out some tree like shapes. They're kind of wonky but I think this is a dreaming tree page and not really something that's meant to be realistic. Have you created any pages with some lyrics or maybe a poem? Really was the driver for this page. That first tree, I think ended up being my favorite shape that I cut anyway, but the patterns that the stenciling with the gel prints made, I think gave a really interesting texture. And I did want to vary it a little bit, even though they are all in those warm orangey red tones. After cutting out my tree shapes, I you want to make sure that your base coat is dry before writing on it because that can ruin a pen. So I started um, writing out just the lyrics of the song, not necessarily very legibly, but um, kind of scratchy as I might call it. I won't make you watch me write out these full two pages, so we're going to do a little quick skip ahead but I did fill up both sides of the spread. So now I'm going to glue down my trees and I'm using this DAP one stick permanent adhesive. It's, it has a broad tip, which is nice for when I was first gluing down but it also has a fine tip applicator which later on you'll see if a little piece was sticking up here or there I could go in with that fine tip appl applicator and get it all glued down. You can also use a glue stick or you know gel medium, matte medium. Any of those would work fine. But when I glue this smaller tree down in the middle, I do want to make sure that it's, since it's in the crease, that that piece is also creased well so that it doesn't end up peeling, peeling off later. started to trim the base of my trees and, and decided I actually liked it a little bit better torn for a little bit more of an organic look. And I decided the page needed a sun cut out so I'm using this gold gel print that actually had circles on it already which made it a lot easier for me to cut that circle shape and this glue has a little bit of working time which is also another another benefit for how I work so I could lift those branches up and then um, glue those back down. I'm getting out some markers and these are mostly Tombows and I just wanted to add some shading for some moodiness to my trees. After putting some of the marker down, I go back with just a wet paintbrush to 
smear out those lines a little. After a quick dry, I am using some black craft paint. I'm going to paint in some birds. Crows, I guess, is what I had in mind. And just trying to give the essence of the bird, not, not anything very detailed. Although I do go back with my Posca marker just to give a little bit more definition to the head and kind of tail and beak. Next, I'll be adding some Daniel Smith Gold Watercolor Ground to create a base or ground my page here. And I love a little finger painting. I'm going to add a little bit more outline to the trees just to make them stand out a little bit more, bring in that moodiness I'm kind of hoping to create. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I have inspired you to go make a page using some song lyrics. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment, give us a thumbs up and share.